G'day everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is the final episode of Backyard Revealed, where I aim to show you what to do, places to visit, and restaurants to dine in, all within driving distance from the town of Gola that I live in. You're joining me today in the middle of Adelaide City, and we're bound for Adelaide Central Market. I cannot wait. So let's say hi to live Ryan, shall we? And that's right guys, you heard right. This is the final episode for Backyard Revealed. I mean, when I first started this Backyard Revealed series, I it was just meant to be a filler because I thought, um, you know, I was applying for my passport and it was gonna take a while um, for the passport to come. So I thought, um, you know, my next trip, my next travel trip is going to be international. And I did not expect uh, the application to take so damn long. So this whole Backyard Review series has gone into a full-blown playlist on my channel. So um, I highly recommend you check it out. So today is episode 10. So perhaps final is a bit too strong of a word. So I'm gonna make this Backyard Review series. I'm gonna put it to rest for a while uh, because my next video after this definitely is going to be an international trip overseas. All right, so look out for that as well. So today, uh, I'm right here in the middle of Adelaide City and I'm heading into Chinatown you see behind me so we are going to walk through Adelaide Central Market this is definitely one of the iconic must-do locations that you must come to whenever you visit Adelaide so yeah to Adelaide Central Market we go today so let's do this over 70 permanent traders within the Adelaide Central Market is one of the largest undercover fresh produce market in the Southern Hemisphere. It is opened six days a week and definitely a focal point for activity in the center of town. It is also a culinary destination in its own right as Adelaide's premier go-to location for multicultural cuisine. As a true blue foodie, you know I'm going to stuff my face today. As one of the oldest markets in Australia, the Adelaide Central Market was opened in January 1870. In the early days, fresh supplies of seafood were brought in by rail from Port Augusta and Port Pirie up north. Oh, how things have changed. And I'm talking about how polluted Port Pirie is these days. Today, the Central Market is surrounded by the Arcade, Chinatown and Market Plaza. The main central market is made up of primarily fresh produce stalls with the perimeter consisting of cafes and restaurants. It's a popular tourist attraction with more than 8.5 million visitors annually. So this is central market for you. As soon as you enter, you're being hit by this swarm of people, especially on the weekends. Um, the market unfortunately it doesn't open on Sunday so when you come here on a Saturday everyone is this is the only weekend available for those especially who are working right so this is the only day um, a lot of uh, people who work during normal office hours Mondays to Fridays so this is the only time they're able to come to Central Market so it is no surprise everyone throngs to the market and they don't and they only close at they only open until about three so everyone comes in the morning um, in the afternoon to, to do their shopping and there is a huge rush to get everything that they can everything they can get their hands on and right at about 2 30 if i remember correctly a lot of vendors will come in the middle of the portion in the middle of the walkway here to to quickly sell whatever they have at a cheap price you know there'll be yells of um one dollar two dollar specials and all yeah so it happens here in the middle of the walkway so let's see if that happens today because the last time when i saw that happening was pre-covid so who knows um after this pandemic whether it still happens but yeah this is the energy you get when you come into central market it's just amazing the feeling you have food stalls from um everywhere you know all, all different kinds of things here uh, nuts fruits vegetables cheese meat whatever you can think of um, I mean of course you can get it in a supermarket but nothing beats the feeling of coming into 
an open market like this to do your shopping. Yeah, so when I lived um, closer to Adelaide in the past, I used to come here every weekend, but now that I'm out in the country, you know, this is a special treat for me. Uh, yeah, this is nice. It's nice to be in Central Market again after all this time. Yeah. Since this is a Saturday afternoon, a lot of things sell out quickly. So I made a beeline to my favourite dessert stall. I normally get my fix of eclairs and tarts at stall 45. On this crowded afternoon, I'm indulging in a custard tart dusted with cinnamon powder. These guys can make anything taste like heaven. So I decided to fuck the diet and go all out. Hmm. Funny how, before I moved to Australia, I really wasn't a dessert person. Then again, I also didn't like olives, eggplants and pickles. The fresh air of the luckiest country in the world surely rewired my brain. In a good way, of course. On this trip to Central Market, I'm heading out into the sunshine again to welcome someone to join me on this exploration zigzagging about the crowd. Why come to Central Market on your own when you can be joined by... Hello. <laughs> it's Daniel again, so he's gonna be joining me to walk around in Central Market today. Yep. Let's Definitely go for lunch because well. I'm very hungry. Are you hungry? Very. Okay, very hungry as well. So come, let's go eat. We need to experience the best the market can throw at us. And for this, we're heading to Lucia's. The weekend is meant for me to indulge in cheap meals. So I've been looking forward to this all week. So, ciao, como stai? Mangiamo amico mio. So finally the meal has arrived. So I have ordered the ravioli with meat. You ordered the meat, right? Yeah. Ravioli with meat, yeah. So no, I... You got spinach. Spinach, oh. Yeah. Okay, so I've ordered the spinach ravioli with bolognese. And what did you order? Carbonara. Uh, no, alapana. Alapana. It looks good. It comes in these little bowls here. It smells fantastic. Even before you eat, you're already salivating. So let me just mix this up. Oh. This is not a day to go on a diet. What's a diet? Yeah, what's a diet? Exactly, what's a diet? <laughs> so if you are on a diet watching this, I'm so sorry. Our diet can always begin tomorrow. Yeah, correct. Begin your diet tomorrow, okay? Live vicariously through us right now, eating this serve of pasta. Speechless. Pasta here is always good. Mm. Good. Very good. And the great thing is, they're not even that expensive. How much was this? 15, 16? Yeah, 15, 16 bucks gets you a serve of this so they're not that expensive but I mean with the price of living going up everyone's complaining about the price of gas the price of electricity so it's a matter of time before they put up the prices so today on this day we're paying about 15 16 bucks for a serve of this so enjoy it while you can The pasta was so good, we couldn't resist digging into each other's bowls. Lucia's is definitely highly recommended, but I'd come here outside traditional meal times because the line to get in can be madness. Today, we arrived just before 2 p.m., where the crowd has kinda tapered off, so it was perfect.
Now that lunch was done, we needed to take a brisk walk around the market to digest what we ate, so we could eat some more. By now, pop-up stalls have been set up and as expected, vendors were yelling out some really incredible low prices for these fresh produce. The closer it gets to 3pm, the lower the prices get. So it depends on how long you can wait and whether the stuff you need is still available by then. I once had a vendor offer me an entire carton filled with punnets of fresh strawberries for a dollar at 2.45pm. Unless I wanted to be shitting strawberries for the next few weeks, I really didn't know what to do with that amount. If you're into fresh seafood, Adelaide Central Market does not disappoint. Since we're both into everything oyster, we soon found ourselves eyeing on some which has come from Coffin Bay. Do you remember me shucking oysters in Coffin Bay? Nothing beats having them straight from the sea. But today, I make do with some refrigerated ones. My record is 36 oysters in one sitting when I attended the Oyster Festival in Seduna some years back. What's your maximum number of oysters at one go? Let me know in the comments. Another thing I was never really into until I moved to Australia is coffee. I've since learned to appreciate the high quality roasted beans and here I am slowly sipping into one freshly made cup. It wasn't long before an announcement over the blower was made to chase us out at 3pm. The market closes at 3 p.m. on a Saturday. So now we're being chased out. As you can see, they're closing the doors behind us. I didn't realize this. I started the backyard review series with you, and now I'm ending it with you again. In Singapore terms, we call it Pao Tao Pao Boy. You, you put some titles yourself. <laughs> Pao Tao Pao Boy. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I, I, I have to think, I have to crank my brain to remember what that means. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the central market uh, for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that was it. So this is what we do on a Saturday. Adelaideans, we come down here to get our bargains, to grab whatever we can uh, to bring back home for the week. All right, so uh, hit me up on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to next. And also, more importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to find out what video is up next on my YouTube channel, okay? So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you around the next time. Bye!